All right, you guys can go ahead. Golden locks. That turned gray. Hey, coach, what'd you think? Uh, we won. <laughs> you know, I think I, I I don't know the number of years, but I think it was five games and uh, five years they lost up here. So they're used to winning here, and uh, they start out seven and one. And uh, obviously, we knew we were going to be in for a ball game. And Keith does a good job, but uh, you know what? Uh, you got to give it hats off to our guys. They played hard. They had a chance to get had a run come against them. I think got it down to four, maybe five. Pulled it right back out. Got it up to eleven or twelve. Finished with a nine point win. Good ball game, and it. Uh, Shows you that we can be really good, but at the same – because that first half was textbook. What we got to do is learn to put that second half all the time. And I think uh, as we get a little older, we will. Micah had some chippies that he missed right down there where it kept the game a little bit more uh, comfortable. But uh, you know what? He's a freshman, and he'll get better as the season goes. Coach, what's that tell you about – You got 16 rebounds, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not arguing too much. What's that tell you about your team, though? I mean, you you kind of let them um, down the stretch, kind of take back control of it. Every time that happens, they get a little more confidence and a little more able to, to finish out the game. Well, I'm you know, I'm a great believer that you trust your kids, too. And don't think you got all the answers as a coach. You know, a lot of a lot of coaches and probably me at some time or another or some other times, a lot of fans think, you know, that they can control the game by making smart decisions. And, you know, most, most of the time, probably the best decision is trust your kids. Now, you trust, you you taught them all year long, and you taught them coming into the game. I mean, uh, you've got to then show that you have trust for them, too, and then they trust you. And then it makes for a good working relationship, and you have a chance to be a very good ball club. And We're on the way there. We're not there yet, but we're – we're getting better, and we'll get tested again and again. It's a long season. This one's over. Robert Morris is playing better. We got to be ready for him. Coach, you say you guys will get better, but I mean, this is your eighth win in a row. I saw a stat out of like 208 minutes that y'all have played. You only were behind for like three of those minutes, something like that. Just how strong is this group of guys? I mean, and you guys are on this long road stretch now. You still have four road games in front of you. I mean, but but it just, I don't know, it seems at least watching the games that this is a very, very special group. Well, one thing, they're fun to watch and, and you start pulling for them. There's a lot of positive energy coming because of the way they play, the way they play with each other, the emotions that they have on the bench, our staff, our, our managers. You know, it's all it's all a part of being a good ball club. And, and we treat our... First manager, first year, to the Tavion, Andy, treat them all the same. They're all valuable, and they all make us a better ball club. And so we try to reinforce that, and I think that's what you see. And that's the strength of this ball club. And Andy and uh, Tavion, they kind of started it by coming back determined. Last year was an anomaly. It wasn't going to happen again. And then we added – and Ovina, of course, plays well right there with them. And then we added those four guys that came in, and they really lifted our field for the game. They have a great field. Freshmen have a great field for the game and understand how to play. Makes everybody, when you're playing with somebody who knows how to play and does all the little things, you play better because you're a smarter team and you play together. And uh, we're real fortunate with those four newcomers that they all contribute and, and play a, a – a much older brand of basketball than they are, except for Cam. But Cam, Cam has his experience. But Jacob, Micah, and uh, Wyatt, those guys uh, really added to Marshall basketball. And talking about Cam, I mean, I remember we were talking to you at the start of the season, and you were saying you really felt like you found this missing puzzle piece that you guys didn't have last season. Um, and just just, do you think now, you know, you're, you're nine games in, eight, eight and one, <laughs> Do you think you found that missing puzzle piece? Do you think it, it well, is? Well, it was certainly we thought that Cam, with his personality as well as his shooting, but a lot was his personality that we needed. We needed that stir guy, that guy that's fun to be around, that that's in the gym arena every day, that's working but doesn't see it as a chore. He, it's fun for him. 
and he keeps it fun for everybody else. And it's light, yet they're playing hard and they're practicing long hours, but it's light. They take it, it's fun. So they stay there. Then, you know, the added bonus was we had a three just like him. And, you know, you don't always know what you're getting when you're getting brand new kids in. But uh, Jacob and Micah and Wyatt, they're all like that too. And so they bound together, they blended quicker probably than you would have thought. And now we're eight and one, but uh, again, it's early season and that's now past. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna get up, and look at Robert Morris, and try to get ready. And like I said, we, we got on the road before we get home, then you hit conference play, you know, it, it's ongoing. You know, one game is great, we're eight and one, great. All right, what's next? So let's let's play what's next. And I think he's your men. They're they're fired up to have a good season. And it's always on the road, uh, always nice bonding time. And you got a chance here, you know, two games right here in Pittsburgh, you know, without having to leave and head back to Huntington. So it's uh, always nice when you spend some time together, right? To, as a team off the court as well as on. Well, that, and that that's and, and that's true. And you have a chance to bond. And it's always good when you're on the road and you're stuck with people, you like them. You know, it's hard. It's hard to be on the road. You don't like them. You probably want to come home. But these guys, these guys are fun to be around. It's easy. They're polite. I don't have to have rule ten through one through ten. You know, they they handle themselves. They know what young men should be, and uh, they show that. And our staff and managers, they all contribute to uh, ensuring that. So. Yeah, I, I think it'll help us, obviously, being here because they bond together well anyway. It, it, sometimes you get there and you're with your team and, and it'll pull them apart. But these guys are a special group of young men, not basketball players, young men that will hang together and, and push Marshall forward. Um, you'll need you now. Huh? You're going to need you to go. I got to go, fellas. I, I really enjoy talking. I hate to leave, but you know, Cody has said, I got to go. You know, he, didn't even get, he might dock me salary-wise. He didn't even give last call, Danny. He's a tough guy. 